What's good, YouTube? On uh, long road trips, we often go from uh, talks about actual Yu-Gi-Oh! and people to what-ifs, because on really long road trips, you kind of run out of certain things to say, and you just start thinking of, of kind of silly things. So, uh, so I'm kind of used to that in a car, and on the way to the gym today, I thought of an interesting conversation topic. And that is, if you were to go to jail, and the psychiatrist that was appointed to you said that you actually needed Yu-Gi-Oh! to have a mental stability kind of grip in that kind of a realm, and they allowed you to take two Yu-Gi-Oh! decks with you to play with, what two decks would you take with you to jail? And uh, I'm going to set the stipulation that it would have to be from the same format. So, uh, perhaps Spellbook vs. Dragon Rulers, Goat Format Mirrors. We had a really interesting thread in uh, Zodiac, and I had planned to just post that there. But the conversation thread really broke out, and it's been really interesting. So I wanted to hear your guys' thoughts. Like, if you're actually stuck for a year with a bunch of people who may not know how to play the game, or may maybe a few of them do know the game from certain aspects, what decks would you want to bring that A, you would be teaching somebody else, and B, you're just in that kind of an environment, unfortunately. So, uh, please, go ahead in the comments below, tell me what Yu-Gi-Oh deck you would bring to jail if you were forced to go to jail for a year and you were bringing two decks with you. Thanks for uh, joining this conversation, and uh, if you like these kind of things, more so just kind of thoughts than only content, 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 let me know, because uh, I'm, I'm open to talking about things like this, but... Uh, it's, it's just a conversation thread that went really out there really fast, so I wanted to see what you guys had to say too. Thanks for watching.